this video, I'm going to show you how to teach in automatic functions. We go to Vario Guide, Vario Guide main menu, down to Automatic Teach In, Headland Settings. Up here at the very top, we have the ability to turn a beeper on and off to inform you of when you're at your headlands. The second button down is where we can adjust our overlap settings. You see the far one on the left is uh, when the implement first hits the headland, it'll shut it off. The second one is halfway through. And the last one is the full implement will pass through the headland before it turns off. So you can pick which one you'd like. The third button down is an automatic flag for entering the field. The fourth one down is an automatic flag for entering the headland. These two flags here are for when you manually use teach-in. What will happen is your tractor will beep at you when you reach a certain distance that you put in either one of these boxes. When you've reached that flag and then you manually touch the button to engage your, your teach-in. In this case we're going to use teach-in automatic so we're going to leave these flags turned off and we need to turn on the one underneath the flags. However it's grayed out right now. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is over here, we need to put in a distance from our headland. Normally you would want this distance to be two and a half times your implement width or more. And we need that distance so that we can make our turn and turn our implement on and off, lift it out of the ground, do all the certain functions that needs to happen. So in this case, we have an implement set up that's 25 feet wide. I'm going to go ahead in here and I'm actually going to put 100 feet as a distance in here. Then the box is moved down here to for me to define when I want this to occur when I'm entering back into the field. So I have the ability to adjust this value using the scroll dial on the side of the terminal to whatever I want. In this case, I'm actually going to leave it at zero feet because I want, in this example, I want my teaching sequence to occur right at my interior headland. Then we have the ability to change this one over here. When does our teach-in occur when we're entering into our headland? Again, you can customize that so that your implement is lifting out of the ground just at the right moment. Uh, you, can, you can alter that. Down here at the bottom, we have the ability to alter what teach-in sequence that we have stored happens. So if you need help on how to set up those teach-in, uh, buttons. Uh, please see my additional videos on how to do that because of course that's very important in, in this sequence for that to operate properly. In this particular case what we have set up is our go one button engages our auto steer and it sets a cruise control at six miles per hour. It's a very simple teaching. Our end one button what it does is it disengages our auto steer and it changes our cruise control to four miles per hour. So now that we've altered our dimensions and our teach-in buttons, now over here on the right-hand side, we have the ability to enable this auto teach-in button. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Here this message is telling you that you've done that. So we'll go ahead and hit the check mark. Now we're ready to go. So now I'm gonna get some ground speed with the tracker. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my go one button. So that has enabled my auto steer and now I'm doing six miles per hour and as I reach that teal line my end one button will activate so now my tractor has disengaged auto steer and now I'm doing four miles per hour now I'll go ahead and manually turn around to my next row and now here's the key to teach in automatic Right now what we have to do is we have to engage auto steer using the white button on the armrest or else your teach-in sequence when you enter into the field will not work. So because I have that, my auto steer is now turned on. As we reach the TO line, our go one button will enable, which it just did. So it altered my cruise to six miles per hour and it turned on my auto steer.